Hello and good morning. Welcome back. We got the kids up a little bit early today because they are heading to school early. But guess what? I'm not taking them. Brandon is taking them today. It's because Dad's and donuts. They have <laughs> we don't have to eat breakfast here. We have to eat breakfast at school. Dad's and donuts today. Last week, was it last week or two weeks ago? We did muffins. moms and muffins, but morning got off to a little bit of a different start because Brandon had to go well, outside maybe. and <laughs> snowblow. I am just so excited for spring break next week. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> I had to get the snowblower out and it's quite a bit. There's a lot of snow outside. Why am I orange? I'm just out of focus. Woke up to tons of snow. You do have to leave early because first of all, mom said last time when they did the moms and muffins, the line was so long they decided to start it earlier so they can get all the parents through. It was already starting earlier. Kind of got to get an early And you guys aren't leaving earlier. If anything, you're leaving later. Really? We're leaving right now. Well, Ryder's not down here yet. You guys need to be in the oh, car. Ryder, let's go, dude. That's a donut. And then the yeah. snow. So much snow out there. I'm glad got... you're driving your truck, though. Yes, that's going to be great. We've got so much on tap today to get out of town. I guess you're going to probably manage that while I take off the last loose ends put together. You're going right back to bed. Aren't you? Okay. Yes, I'm gonna hit the ground running, load the car, clean up the house. I still haven't packed myself two outfits, one of which is basically gonna look like pajamas for the drive home on Sunday. Brandon is leaving to get the kids off to school. He's also got a GoPro outside catching the sunrise, whatever that's gonna look like. There's a lot of clouds out there, a lot of snow out there. This is a little bit weird. I always, maybe not always, in probably the last five years, I have driven the kids to school. It is weird for me to be home and Brandon just took the kids to school. He always does pick up. He just gets started working right away and I used to go to the gym after I take the kids to school. Now I take the kids to school and I come home and work out, which is I think what I'm gonna go do right now. I am so over driving the kids to school in the snow. Stressful, I don't like it. I'm so glad that Brandon is doing it. As this backyard is becoming a little bit more lit, I'm realizing just how much snow is out there. Just stupid. The funny part is we look back on memories of this exact time of year. There's always snow at this time, so I don't know why it feels so much longer this year, but it really, really feels like winter is lasting three years. We are getting ready to pack up the car. Brandon is out doing some snow blowing. Just came in and told me this is the most snow he's ever snow blown here at the house. It is so deep. Are you having fun yet? I wanted to get your ruler and see. I and mean, it's taller than each step. So I want to go to the fire pit in the backyard. So that's a pretty good yeah. thick topper. And see if we've got full foot in like the last few hours. You guys can see over there. It's thick. It's a lot of snow. As tall as each stair. You have fun out here. Got it. And I'm going to stay in here. I'm just going to go put my shoes on. Start getting things ready to be put in the car. We have been talking with the Ravellis back and forth all day long. Because the snow has been so bad. A couple of years ago, they did this same competition the same weekend. And they said they were driving along and they closed closed the main highway down to St. George. We obviously don't want that to happen, so we're trying to leave at a good time that gives us enough time to get there. Stephanie's family has to be there for something tonight. We don't have to be there until tomorrow morning. So here's the update on this. We had these two kids home today. This is what happened with Brexton. They went to Dad's and Donuts. I woke up, saw the snow, starting some laundry this morning, and I had this thought come to me. Don't let him go to school. Don't let Brexton go to school. The reason is because he had a field trip that was 45 minutes away. Our school does parent drivers instead of buses. I just felt like I shouldn't send him. Typically, I drive for field trips. I love to help with the school. I know that my kids are safe. And honestly, all the other parents at the school are awesome. You have to have a background check. There's so many things you have to have done in order to drive. I felt very nervous about it for some random reason. So I pulled Brexton in and I says, buddy, how would you feel if I asked you to not to go? It's like, you're weird. Well, the school did have the kids leave for the field trip. And then they sent out a message to everybody, come back to the school. It's too dangerous. They ended up not doing the field trip. So Brexton basically just missed a day of school because at that point, I didn't feel like it was safe for me to come all the way home and take him all the way back to school either. He stayed home. Brandon's going to come in. We actually have a lot we're taking this time. My bag, pillows, the kids, mattresses, Definitely dance stuff we need to bring. This is all Brandon's stuff. This is Hazy's dance stuff, backpack, and some blankets. We've got just a few little things left here and around that we've got to gather up.
They think we have everything we need in the car. It's been a little bit of a frazzle dazzle fest this morning, dealing with the snow, snow plowing, the driveway off, getting everything packed up. We have just hit the away button on our new fancy, dancy, fancy schmancy, fancy schmancy security system, Lutron system. So it's shutting all the blinds, turn off yeah. all the lights, we're arming the alarm. We're very stoked to go to Hazy's dance thing, but we really hope we survive this storm. You guys, there are roads getting shut left and right. We are setting a record for the most snow we've ever had since yeah. like the 80s. This, 1983 was like a big year for Utah. The most snow we've ever had, major flooding. We like just passed that last night or something. And today we have had so much more. That was probably the most I've ever had to shovel on the driveways. It is whipping wind. There is a fresh foot of fallen snow out there. We are hitting the roads, headed down to St. George. I would say sunny St. George, but it's not that much sunnier. Right now we're gonna go pick up the other two kids. Two kids in the car, we're headed down south. Come with us on this road trip, on this epic adventure and journey. It's gonna be awesome. Down south, you're coming along. Some snacks along the way. Heck yeah. Singing some songs, having some fun. Let's Goodbye, y'all. No road trip is complete without a quick trip to both the bathroom and the snack. Now this is one of the greatest snack joints. Maverick is so good. They've got for everything that. you could possibly want. They call it Adventure's first stop, actually. So, oh wow, and this might be the There's most crowded like one I've ever seen in my life. Quick everybody. bathroom stop here. This is the whole world right here. <laughs> Get in line, guys. Hi right, guys. Now you've done pretty good. We've about halfway there. We haven't had to go to the bathroom. We just chose to. Don't load up on sodas or anything like that, because then we're gonna have to end up going potty. And we're so close. I don't have to stop again if we don't have to. Starry. Starry. I like that. A little bit of energy for the road here. Uh, had to Brandon drink. got three treats. Well, if you want to call a single nerd rope a treat, yes, and a health bar for later during the trip because you didn't buy them for me when you took a picture of me and bought the wrong box, but I wanted to know what they tasted like. And anyway, so I bought a fast Mom, I break. Wait, I got it first. Twin on your treats. I got you're it first. such twinning treat nerds. Guys, I have never seen a gas station in my life. There's so many people here. Stephanie, what did you go with? These are always Even my favorite, Stephanie guys. Got a treat. Reese's the man of my is heart. new, I think. Inside a Reese's cup. You got two. We're sharing. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we're sharing. Yeah, yeah. 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 Oh my gosh, shocker. Leah got yeah. a Hershey's bar. Kinder Joy A. Guys, yeah, I love I it. Anybody else? What'd you get, Rachel, what did you get? Gum. Big gold what thing of gum. Yeah, yeah. 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 you never know. She got nothing because you guys had what I was going to get. She got a thing of Pringles. I was like, I have those in my car. Ryder comes over. We have those in our car. I'm going to put those back. She's like, you're the third person to tell me. I'll put them back. Crew, what'd you get? I didn't really want anything. Wait, nothing. I'm going to get a Fanta. Well, I have a drink and then I have some candy and snacks in my pack. We do have a lot of snacks in the car. This is just a quick juice up. We want to call it where you get some candy. Yeah. Get a lot of candy. I'm hoping this a is just a fast break until step. we get to dinner. A quick fast break, a little bit of energy for the road. And honestly, we are only like an hour and a half from our dinner location. So, so we get back on the road. Yes. Next stop, dinner. Everyone had a chance to go to the bathroom. We fill up on gas. Next We're good to go. Stop, more food. Which great minivan are we getting in? This one or this one? Or that one or that one. Talk about Utah, am I right? A very Utah stop here. We got, I've never seen so many people at a gas station Literally. in my life. Another stop have come to Cedar City. We are about 40 minutes from the St. George destination that we are going to, but we're gonna stop here and grab a bite to eat. Now this was pre-planned. We had yeah. planned to stop here, grab dinner, and finish off Micah, who we are traveling with the Rebellies on this trip. Yeah. He has a solo dance performance tonight, so he will be yeah. actually performing tonight, I think like 9 p.m. or something. 9.30. And then Savannah, her daughter, has roll call, whatever you call it. They have to show up at yeah. six o'clock in the morning tomorrow morning. So we're going sun up to sundown, walking to the pizza factory right now.
We are so close to our final destination, I can oh. actually taste it. <laughs> just like I tasted that marshmallow sucker I just had. How was that? Pretty good? It was pretty good. So good, really good. Fun breadsticks. These pizza had an all meat calzone that was literally all meat. There was almost nothing but Crazy. meat on it. It was pretty good. We're jumping back in the car for a short 40 minute jaunt down south to, I'm hoping, slightly warmer, somewhat sunnier St. George. Let's go. Our final destination is right around the corner. We're gonna set up shop. Pretty much, I think my guy's gonna go with Micah to his performance oh, tonight. Yeah. We're gonna probably get ourselves situated and get ready for bed. Mm -hmm. We gotta be back there in the morning. We are very nearly there. This road trip has been probably one of the easiest, most chill, yeah. most like quiet road yeah. trips. I've just sat in the back. I just put my headphones on. Just play. Mom said it kind of makes her sad. It's like a sign of the times that the kids are getting older because normally you're trying to entertain and there's a little bit of chaos involved. Everyone's like kind of talking, like maybe even fighting. You never know. But it has been like everyone <laughs> in their own zone. Four little pods of silence the entire drive. It's been very enjoyable, very easy. We're nearly there. Let's go. Let's go. We brought our garbage with us. <laughs> These are my pillows. Keep them safe. We made it. We arrived. We got through the snowstorms, the frozen Thankfully, tundra. The drive was a piece of cake. It was not that bad at all. It really, it wasn't. started out a little rainy. That was just like where we live. We're here. It's great weather. You're not getting a suntan or anything like that, but it is very doable. We've already got one dancer at the dance competition tonight. Michael yes. went over there. Riley went with him to cheer him on. We've got Savannah getting up very early for hers in the morning, so she's actually already in bed. She has to wake up at five. We're getting the other kids into bed. We are so grateful to the Rebellion for letting us stay with them here. Yes. Great place to stay. Everyone's got a great place to lay their head down, get some rest before tomorrow. But we are getting it's up and going be awesome. to the dance competition tomorrow. Hazy's first real competition. Our first real competition we've it's ever been a part be of. It's really fun. We are very, very excited. We're stoked to be here. Thanks yeah. for joining us on our journey. We love you. Thanks for hanging. We'll see you all tomorrow. Good night, everybody. Bye.